Good morning! This morning! Out there in internet land. Welcome to Kicking It With Chris. Although we're cruising today, we're just kicking it. I'm Chris. So, update. It's a, a funny time we live in, people. Funny how life has a way of just being... It's comical sometimes. Now, last week, you guys see me. I was in my feelings. I had all kind of shit going on. I was in turmoil. I was in angst. Oh, my God. I, I mean, I was ready to kill myself last week. Damn near. No, not really. I wasn't that bad off. But it's been rough. Anyway. Uh, now, me and the next old lady, we still ain't right. Don't get me wrong. We still ain't right in there. Like, we don't talk and have a like, conversation. But as of today... Of course, you gotta think about, well, there's a couple things I'm thinking. But anyway, point is, as of today, she come in there and made breakfast and did a couple little dumb things, right? So here it is now. She at 7 o'clock in the evening. And it's, hey, want to drink a margarita? Yeah, go get us a bottle of liquor and some slushies for the 7 Eleven. Let's make some margaritas. <laughs> so, I'm on the way to 7-Eleven and the liquor store so we can make some damn margaritas now why does this woman want to make margaritas with me she ain't talked to me in two weeks I think I have a feeling I know why <laughs> I think she's gonna try to take advantage of me can you believe that a woman like that take advantage of a guy like me man she's trying to get me drunk Hope she don't hog time me this time. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? I don't even know if I know where the liquor store is. Where is there it is, right there, right but oh, is it, oh, that ain't the liquor store. Damn it, I don't even know where the liquor store is. Oh, that is the liquor store. Yeah, that's the liquor store. Okay, alright guys. Well, I'm gonna have to get back on here in a minute. Uh I probably won't publish this till after I record the sesh. So uh Stay tuned, folks. Well, hello out there. We're back. We're back. Thank the Lord for essential services, huh? Oh, coronavirus can't keep us down. So what did I happen to purchase when I went to said liquor store? You know, I went in there for some Malibu rum or some... Uh, Maybe some Parrot Bay or something. I don't know. She wanted some sort of a something sweeter. And I like rum and a margarita. It's good, you know. Her mom wanted a damn tequila or something. But I'm not in the tequila mood. I'm in a warm and fuzzy mood. I'd rather have some rum. Well, it happened to be that I saw a good friend of mine while I was there. Sailor Jerry's. Whoop, whoop. Gotta love old Sailor Jerry's. I ain't had Sailor Jerry's in years, boy. I used to have this little girlfriend. Let me tell you what, that crazy little chick, she collected Sailor Jerry's everything. She had, oh, I can't go that way, can I? I can't. Yeah. She had a collection of bottles. You know, they've all got the little tattoo art on the inside. That little bitch had probably 40, 50 bottles of Sailor Jerry's all on these little carousels that you'd spin in the kitchen so you could see all the artwork on the inside. I, it was cool. It was cool. It looked, it was actually like modern art. It was attractive. It wasn't some trashy. Because at first I was just sitting here thinking, man, these bitches drink a lot. There's a whole bunch of girls lived in this little house, man. Anyway, long story. So yeah, thank goodness for uh, essential services, man. That's cool. That's real cool. An old bottle of fur grammar. Get to the house, whoop that up. Stuck at red light right at the moment. So what are you guys doing to stay busy during this whole thing? I mean, oh, by the way, you guys hit me up over on uh, Instagram, Christopher Day 1980. That's me. Can't miss it. This old mug on there. I mean, it's, it's that's me in the flesh, raw right there. Uh, not quite as raw as I am here, <laughs> but... uh yeah, I'm raw there too. Every now and then you catch your top photo over there. You know I'm working out. Got to take a little selfie. You know, got to do what people do. Yeah, got to act like a normal human being. So, uh, 
Anyway, yeah, come check me out over there. Slide into my DMs, as they say. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, I'm not on there a lot, and I very rarely read what anybody says, to tell you the truth. When I get on there, it's usually... I don't even know what I'm doing on that platform right now, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's like it's just too fast-paced for me. I don't have time for that much. I can't keep track of it. So, anyway, now I'm here at the uh, convenience store at 0711. I'm going to pick up some slushies. So, I'll be back. Well, hello again! <laughs> so, um, we got slushies. Oh, yeah. 64 ounces worth of slushies. Figure I'd give some of the kids, pour some out a little bit, and then uh, fill the rest up with old alcohol. Uh, some old Sailor Jerry. I got a strawberry one. I don't know what it's called. Strawberry something. And uh, the other one was just a cherry bomb, whatever in hell. Anyway, both of them fan-freaking-tastic. And uh, hopefully we're going to stick a little bit more liquor in there than we're supposed to. <laughs> Anywho, time to get down on it there. Get down on it. Get down on it. So, my oldest daughter and I have uh, been discussing doing a podcast. I mean, you know, really, I do a whole lot of talking here is what's going on. There's a whole lot of me talking to you guys. Not a whole lot of you guys talking back. So, do I really need the video? Meh. I don't know, but... What the hell am I going to talk about by myself for however long, for an hour of time? I'm doing a good 15, 20 minutes at a time at the most. Most of the time, if you guys notice, and even that, really, it's a couple of segments and stuff of, you know, five, ten minutes, you know, and then I'll string several of them together and and uh, put it together for you guys, you know, a little video. And I try to do that, you know, about once every couple of days anyway. I try to keep everything from the same day together for the most part. I don't think I have any that are split days. Either way, this is a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy talking to you guys. And, you know, I'm, maybe not a whole lot of you guys have watched yet. I don't know. It's just, I don't think we have a lot of subscribers and viewers yet. I think we have like 10, something like that. Which, you know what? I'm glad that all 10 of you guys did that. You know, that's cool. Y'all support me in some way. I really like that, you know. Maybe y'all can share it. Let your friends know. I mean, maybe you got some other friends that are kind of like us. Like to, you know, maybe we like smoke pot, drive around, cruise around, sit around the house, whatever it is. Talk, shoot shit, talk about dumb stuff, life. Really, I look forward to the conversations where we get to have just fun with the conversations because <laughs> these driving around sessions and sitting around sessions get high, dude. There's some crazy shit that comes out of these, and I love it every time. Uh, since I started this vlog, though, it's like life's kind of just been in turmoil, so it's like more about life updates and what's going on and kind of letting y'all know where I'm at, what's happening with everything. I mean, it's been kind of rough. Uh, could have been a lot rougher, I promise. I mean, thank God there's people out there that give shit about me, apparently. You know, as much as I complain, bitch, moan, whatever really there's people out there that love me they're not a lot but they do and they ain't trying to let me see see me be in a bad way even if even if the relationships we have aren't exactly the relationships that we you know wanted at one time it's the way they are right now and that's what it is you know, Mike's father-in-law was just sitting down talking to him a while ago we were shooting the shit he was just telling me he didn't have to worry about nothing. He said, I, I totally had a place when I came home. It, me and his daughter ain't even together. Ain't been. But we're good. We weren't buddies or anything. He just, he knows I was a good dude. And like, we respected each other. Still do. Been living in his house for three months now. And uh, not a moment's trouble between us. Not one. I had a great time. Now, mother-in-law, on the other hand, she, I mean... Nothing really. She's, you know, being a woman, doing what women do, you know. Doing what women do, just being a woman. Sometimes men and women don't jive on all the uh, cords and all counts, but anywho, well, I'm about to be back over the old casa. So you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the flip side, man. <laughs>